Hi everyone, so this is what I got up to last Sunday. It's my usual typical routine for the weekend. I got up past nine. Yes, it was quite late, but let's be realistic. I need a lion on a Sunday. I get up so early during the week. It was a nice sunny morning, but I'd just like to point out, Cambridge is freezing at the moment, so don't be deceived by the sunny weather. I had my typical breakfast of Frosties and orange juice. It's a great combo that I'd highly recommend. I watched some YouTube while I ate my breakfast. I was having a great time at this point, not gonna lie. Nice relaxing start to the day. I then put my contact lenses in because my eyesight is not great and went on to do my makeup. I wear a full face of makeup most days. I enjoy putting it on to be honest. Love a bit of foundation, a bit of mascara. It's great and it just it's great thinking time while I'm doing my makeup. I'll reflect on the day before and what I want to achieve that day. Love it. And makeup done, now onto the day, let's go! So a messy room really stresses me out, so I decided to start off the day by having a really big tidy up. Please don't judge me for the mess it was in beforehand, like I literally have no time during the week to pick stuff up off the floor, or that's what I tell myself anyway. I also filed my work from different modules into separate folders to keep myself organised. I am a massive fan of to-do lists because I worry about forgetting things, so at the start of each day I always make a list of the things I want to get done that day. There was a mixture of general chores like going to the shops and doing my laundry and also work for my studies such as earth sciences and physics to get done. My physics was priority since it was due in by 6 o'clock that evening. Every room in college has a notice board which is really useful. I could pin my to-do list up and keep track of where I was at throughout the day. I began by doing my earth sciences map exercise. I'd coloured it in the night before but hadn't done much else. It was actually really quite confusing at points. I was drawing a cross section at this point and feeling a bit worried I was getting it all wrong but <laughs> hey when do I not feel like that? <laughs> Confusion I powered through and eventually completed it, ticked it off my to-do list, good job. By this point it was actually nearly lunchtime, so because it was a Sunday, it meant Sunday roast was on at CAF, my absolute favourite meal. So I headed down quickly to get the first serving of roast potatoes. Featuring Chapel Court here, very picturesque. In general the food at CAF is pretty good. I brought my own mint sauce with me for this one because they only have it when lamb is being served and it goes great with all meats and roast potatoes. I had no trouble clearing my plate, although the dessert was a bit of a letdown. I had high hopes, but... Then I went to quickly check my pigeon hole. There was nothing in there on this occasion though. Roast always leaves me in such a good mood. I thought I would get going on my laundry next because I wanted to catch a time where the machines were quiet. Look at me go, such a pro with the wash powder. It was a bit annoying that people hadn't come to collect their stuff out of the washing machine once it was finished, so I had to wait for them to come back before I could put my own stuff in, but what can you do? Uni life. Unfortunately, I then heard that my rowing outing had been cancelled since a few members of the crew had injuries, and it was quite a sad time really. I'd been looking forward to that. I decided to get on with some physics instead. It was just finishing off a few questions that were due in that evening. We've been doing diffraction, refraction, waves at the minute. We're now doing a bit of quantum stuff, which I'm telling you, it is confusing. But I struggled through it and I was quite proud of myself when it was finished. And I put it in my folder ready to hand in. Lodge or the Porter's Lodge is the place to be, kids. I 
had a bit of a struggle handing in my work because my supervisor's pigeonhole was already stuffed full with a parcel. Like, where was I supposed to put it? It required a bit of nifty work from me to manage to bend it so that it stayed in the pigeonhole without falling out. To be time efficient, I picked up my laundry on my way back from Plodge. Two more things ticked off the to-do list. Much satisfaction. And now, to the shops. I wrote out a shopping list of what I needed because if you haven't gathered already, I do like writing lists. I headed down to the shops that were only around the corner from Jesus and of course Wilco was first, my favourite stationery shop. Check out my excitement at the £1 Lever Arch Files. We stopped off for a coffee break, I got millionaire shortbread and a caramel latte, would highly recommend. I usually go to Sainsbury's for my food shop, but today I went to Waitrose since it was just near Wilco and I couldn't be bothered to walk much further. As you can see, I was getting a very healthy selection of food, Haribo's, Nutella, chocolate biscuits. Don't worry, I did get fruit as well. Check me out, adulting right there, like packing my own shopping bag. It was then time to head back to college and we had some great chats along the way. And I could then take shopping off my to-do list and I was very happy about that. I then chilled in the gyp for a bit with other people from my staircase. There is time to relax at Cambridge, it's not true that we're working all the time. Let's also have a moment of appreciation for the very pretty sunset. I started planning my mass extinction presentation while I was in the gyp. Admittedly, it's not the best place to work, sometimes I'm not quite as productive because other people are around to distract me, but I needed a bit of a break and this was a compromise between getting my work done and seeing my friends. The content was actually really interesting as well, I was looking at the Permian Triassic extinction and fun fact, 96% of species went extinct. Since Pancake Day was approaching and we'd basically made it Pancake Week, we decided to make some pancakes, had a bit of a disaster as you can see here, nearly started a fire, but it all worked out fine. Featuring Sainsbury's pancake mix, cause how else would students make pancakes? I had Nutella on my pancake because it is literally the best and as you can see I really enjoyed it. I then remembered that I still hadn't finished my mass extinction presentation prep, so I did get back to that because you can't finish the day without completing your to-do list, that is just not acceptable really, is it Paige? So I got back to it, again in the gyp, brought my laptop down. Since we hadn't actually covered this stuff in lectures yet, I was using a lot of internet based resources to look into the Permian Triassic extinction. Earth Sciences is probably the one module I do that requires a bit of extra reading around the subject. It was very satisfying to complete my to-do list and I really felt like I'd accomplished something. What a productive day. I took my shoes off to make myself comfortable in my room. I'd now finished being out and about for today and socialising and it was now time to just have a bit of me time. Term time at Cambridge can be exhausting and it is very full on. However, I wouldn't want it any other way. I love throwing myself into things and having loads of new experiences and really making the most of my time here. I decided to review a few of my earth sciences practicals with the time remaining I had that evening. The latest stuff we've been doing is analysing fossils and often it's quite subjective so I found it useful to go online and look at the suggested answers the department had put up online. It is honestly crazy to think that we're now over halfway through term. Honestly this term has gone so much faster than first term. Even scarier, I'm now halfway through first year. Every evening I like to fill out my happiness journal where basically you jot down a few things that made you smile that day. It's going to be so much fun to look back on at the end of the year and reminisce on the really fun times I had. At this point I was ready for bed but then I realised I hadn't actually bothered to make the bed after I took the bedding off to be washed earlier in the day. Classic me, so I started making my bed and then I brushed my teeth and got ready for bed. 
thank you very much for watching a day in my life i hope you've enjoyed it and gained an insight into what it's like on a typical sunday at cambridge give the video a like and subscribe if you fancy and good night